Hello everyone, that's here back again with another video. So today we're going to take a look at Tamer Lens ROM version 5. So this is the latest version which was released just a, an hour ago I think. So um, this is uh, its change walk. So this is uh, the best ROM right now, even though I've used it for uh, maybe half an hour. So first of all, uh, it uses uh, the newest GPU drivers and uh, the new Bixby Vision drivers, as well as uh, that the stickers and animations in the front camera were fixed as well as the motion effect in the camera and uh, you can just pause over here and take a look at the full change walk it will be also in the description so first of all let's go into about phone and software information it's based on android 7.0 with samsung experience version 8.1 so i've installed uh, notorious kernel version 1.8.1 because uh, when you install the ROM, it comes uh, with uh, pre-installed S7 Edge kernel and uh, if you're rocking uh, the flat one, be sure to install a kernel in the same TWRP session so that uh, you won't get into a boot loop. As you can see over here, this uh, ROM over here uses uh, the latest uh, Android security patch level from Samsung, which is the 1st of August 2017. So uh, right now let's uh, go straight into the or a ROM control application which uh, comes with the name of Tamerlan uh, 2009 settings I think it was so yeah settings so uh, when you go in it the first thing uh, you're going to see over here is uh, that under work screen there is uh, nothing and other than system settings uh, when you go to status bar you can uh, take a look at your internet speed double tap the status bar to walk the device as well as a quick pull down so when you uh, swipe down from here it will go straight into the quick toggles so this is uh, the first thing over here into notifications panel you have a blur effect for it recent panels have matrix animation as well as a RAM swap panel on the top of the applications under system uh, you have uh, all those things so uh, just pause uh, if you want to take a look at something so over here the cool things are that uh, the brightness warning is hidden and that you can unwalk with the fingerprint right after uh, you restart the device so next off let's go to hardware button so this is uh, the key mapping settings which you know from sec 23 and uh, almost uh, every room that uh, has this one so uh, first of all you can uh, skip and uh, play pause uh, music uh, with your uh, volume up and down buttons I have a separate video about that which we will come into the top right corner right now next off in the recent keys you can uh, change uh, the delay of the recent key so for example if it's like that when I tap it you can see what is the delay but uh, if it's to the minimum it will go straight uh, to the multitasking panel so over here you have uh, single tap action, double tap action, triple tap, long press as well as uh, the same things uh, when uh, your phone is into the walk screen so uh, the same goes for the home key, back key and uh, for the power key so for the power key over here I made it a little bit complicated so I have double uh, tap power to launch camera so uh, yeah but right now I was uh, in settings but uh, the, not, not something that is not cool is that uh, when you're under walk screen you can't uh, have that so uh, it's not working and you have to swipe up over here this is uh, something to keep in mind because uh, when you go to uh, double tap uh, there is basically no double tap uh, for walk screen settings and uh, also for walk screen you have uh, those options only those but for example when your phone is uh, unwalked, unwalked you have uh, all of those over here so uh, again pause if you want uh, to take a look at uh, a closer look at uh, some of those uh, something cool is that you have uh, Bixby so for example if you if you double tap when your phone is unlocked you will go straight uh, to Bixby uh, if you like Bixby uh, not like me so uh, basically uh, this gives you a lot of uh, customization so uh, again you can uh, change the delay over here so uh, this is for the key mapping modes the next thing is uh, under touch with you have nothing and under phone you have code delay so uh, I don't really know what uh, this does but I'll leave it to zero seconds as well as uh, floating notifications the next thing is uh, app shortcuts so uh, this is a uh, shortcuts for useful uh, root applications and the next thing is uh, nothing uh, this is uh, for the application not uh, system wise so uh, basically uh, this is it for uh, the ROM control application 
So uh, right off, uh, you can see that my backup uh, is still uh, not restored, but uh, at least while it's uh, restoring, uh, this uh, one, this ROM seems uh, the the best uh, right now when it comes uh, to smoothness. Battery wife, there's no way I can uh, talk about that because uh, this is uh, like uh, I've drained 20% with this ROM, so I I can tell you what uh, what it's battery wife. So uh, you can take a look at the applications that come pre-installed with it. Uh, the most interesting ones are uh, for example record screen as well as root explorer as voice is something that i'm uh, going to delete sighting of course is uh, going away with as voice of course uh, the memo applications is going away so uh, i did vote with uh, this uh, this application called system application on installer so this is a root application as you see probably right now so yeah so if you want uh, to delete something you just uh, go to it click on it then uninstall yes and uh, that's it so i'll leave a link uh, for this application down below so that you can easily debolt your uh, samsung device so this is something uh, really cool um, bixby is uh, fully working um, i've just uh, hadn't uh, set it up but uh, i know that it's uh, working so basically i'll just uh, right now agree to everything because uh, i'm going to delete it after this video so yeah, I've just uh, deleted that application, that's why I got an error, because it's a uh, part of Bixby. So uh, basically, as you can see, Bixby is uh, fully working over here, nothing uh, interesting, it's uh, just the same pointless thing as it was uh, the whole time. The only uh, thing uh, useful in Bixby is uh, this uh, Reminders application, which uh, I put in the app drawer be before uh, deleting it. So uh, basically, this is it uh, for this uh, for this ROM, guys. Thank you for watching, uh, be sure to check it out, it's uh, really worth uh, checking it out. No bugs are over here for it, everything is uh, working perfectly fine. You have also the ability when your phone is uh, sitting like that, just uh, tap over here, just uh, leave your finger without pressing and uh, the phone will unwalk. Uh, I'm not sure what's the situation with the uh, face unwalk, I'll just uh, take a look right now. So when you go to walk screen and security, this is something I just uh, thought of. And when you write your password... Let's take a look. So uh, yes, you have uh, you have uh, the option. So right now I'll take a look if it uh, if it is working. So just a couple of moments. Right now it is uh, scanning my face. So uh, let's take a look uh, what it is doing. So right now I'll click the button and uh, yeah, it it uh, doesn't unlock the phone. It just uh, removes the password. So uh, I will uh, remove it because. Uh, there's actually no point in it because it's uh, faster to just leave your fingerprint over here. So uh, this is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned because uh, probably uh, very very soon SAC 23's version 6 is coming. As well as uh, new kernel versions. And uh, very soon we will have Android 7.1.1 probably ported from S8. So uh, stay tuned. Be sure to click that subscribe button. And uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. All the download links will be down below. Uh, more videos will be coming soon, so thank you for watching again. Peace.